agency. Told you we had sponsors. And now back to the OB Anthony Show. I want to thank Piers Morgan for coming in today. That was a great debate. <clears throat> that was a good debate, huh, Jimmy? Great. I said uh, great, it was, actually. Had, it it was a great debate. Time. It, I liked Piers a lot. I thought, uh, like, I, I enjoyed... Uh, He's controversial. I like that. It kind of went into the, the, you know, I wanted to talk to him more about the other stuff, but that gun thing was so interesting. It was like... He's There's just, so many things so you many can bring up with him. Yeah. yeah. Because he's, he's been in the middle of this shit for a while now. I don't find him to be unreasonable mm-hmm. with certain things. Like, he's less unreasonable than I thought he would be. Like, as far as not wanting people's uh, guns removed from their homes and all that. But He does, though. Just like no one ever says they want to take your guns away. No one. And there are people that you know want to take guns out of people's houses. But they can't. So they say, we don't want to take your guns away. Then meanwhile, they... They figure out a, a backdoor way to do it. Like in New York, like I said, try to go into a gun store in the state of New York and buy one of these horrid AR-15s. You can't do it. Now, in essence, they've taken away your guns. They've taken away your option to choose a weapon that uh, is available in other places in this country to defend yourself like you, you would want to, like the police come to a, a, a crime scene mm. and uh, protect the people around them and protect themselves with the, this type of weapon. I want the ability to have that same right to protect myself. You cannot do that now in New York. They have, in essence, taken away that gun Man. from the people. Man, he got to you. Oh, fuck. <laughs> he <laughs> got to me. You. By the way, I think we're <laughs> all missing. how excited you still no, are. <laughs> I know. I get wound up. We're all missing the very good point I made. Oh, that, it was uh, a terrific point, ab- Jimmy. About mm. why don't you question the motives of a rapist or a child molester exactly, yes. the same way. Dare I say it was brilliant. They don't. When, when it's, it was brilliant. When it's, uh, when it's a gun uh, murder, they, they want to pin the blame on the gun more so than whatever the person did, who they were. Uh, when it's any other crime... You pin the blame on the person. Mm. It, it's it's an astounding uh, turn of events. Even though, to be honest, what I, I have, I loathe the NRA. I love you, but I loathe oh, the NRA. I am I, the NRA. I hate. <laughs> but you, Wayne Lapierre, I think is a pig, and I, I really do have a, a visceral hatred for them. Yeah. So I agree with him on a lot of the stuff he was saying. I just happen to like you very much more. Aww. Aww. Thank you, Jimmy. <laughs> you guys should hug it out. <laughs> hug it out. Uh, more importantly, uh, Iraq has not left his money. What happened? He refuses to leave his money laying around. Guns kill people. I think they're very bad. I think oh, yeah? just uh, kill them up. Sal was in there getting so pissed off running the board. Why? Because he thought that Iraq was taking care of personal matters. But uh, Iraq was just st- sitting out in the hallway for the whole Piers Morgan segment next to his money. <laughs> he should open it up and jump into like Scrooge McDuck. <laughs> his camera's all over, too. No one's going to take your well, money. You're you know on. how long it would take to steal 255 pounds of quarters? <laughs> Karen, no one's going to take the money here. A lot of people <laughs> saying that I shortchanged E-Rock. That he, um, E-Rock's one of them. Yeah. Iraq is one of them. A lot of people saying I shortchanged Iraq, saying that he weighs more than 250 oh. pounds. <laughs> 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 I'm over it now. All yeah. that guilt, all that shit is done. Yeah, you, you paid it off in quarters. You know. Very nice. That's it. Oh. And you're going to get a W-2. <clears throat> <laughs> it's taxable to you. <laughs> Holy shit. Take uh, one of those boxes and... Uh, there was... <laughs> yeah, if I did a corporate check there, yeah. you, you would have been taxed. Right. There was, honest to God, some questioning going on out in the hallway mm. about whether or not there would be some kind of check... Mm. After the show, is in like, oh, oh that was boy. just for the air. Here's no. a little. <laughs> yeah, no, like, that's no. It. If that, <laughs> it's like the guy that, sitting in front of five thousand dollars cash is asking if there's going to be a check. That's tax free money. Yeah. That's like getting about eight, right? In a check. E Rock is not happy with the. Uh, well, no, he is do? not. He's what not right, do? Sam. Absolutely not. Well, and that's honest. Are you going to grab him? He's what are you going to do? He's uh, he's annoyed. That's that's great. I got a Sudoku to finish. Yeah, bring in your uh, money. <laughs> bring the money in. Bring in the what? 250 in pounds of quarters. Bring in filthy money. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's got a thing. And it is. Kenny did tell me the accurate number. Yeah. It's 255. It's 255 pounds. 255 pounds of quarters being reeled back into the studio. <laughs> Can you make a pyramid on the console so we get a nice shot of this? No one has got a good picture of this thing. 
Just put the fucking cores up there. Do a pyramid. Just do it. For the show. Eric. Is, is Kenny going to allow you to have the hand truck? I'm borrowing it for the day. Oh, Kenny, you all pussy. Right. Here, put him back on. We, want, we all want photo ops. <laughs> I don't. Get photo op. You reckon you're going to do it? <laughs> At any point, did you think uh, it was getting a little too heated with Piers Morgan? No, no, no. I, I Not at all. No, why? No, it was very civil. No, there's a reason why I'm bringing this up. Yeah. I do have follow-ups. Uh-huh. Because what happens in those situations, and it happened to our good friend um, uh, Jesse Ventura there. Yeah. Like, when someone is in over their head, that's when they get all weird and fucking either march out or, uh, or you know... Threaten you with physical uh -huh. violence. He knew he had his facts that he that he could. It's a different. Hang in uh, there. It's a different because head I saw him getting mad. Well, it's not, and I saw show. you getting heated. But you both had enough knowledge wherewithal, <laughs> right? Right to your to your point that it, it, it kept the debate moving along instead of getting to that tough guy uh, territory that happened with Ventura. It's weird too. It's not his show. Like Piers on his show, he he does get a lot more in the people's face. Uh, he calls people names a lot more. He won't let people talk, really. Uh, I in think this he lets situation, them talk. He had, nah, a think? lot of times he cuts. He was cutting me off a lot. Yeah, you know? I, that was the only thing a I lot didn't of times like. He, was he interrupted. It. I always yeah. said, like, don't let. Because a couple of times, this is yeah. a debate tactic. Like, if I ask you a question and you're answering it and you're taking a second, if I jump in with a follow up question. Before I'm done. As opposed to allowing you to give a lucid answer to the first question. Right, right. Yeah, I didn't really get to finish my whole uh, Second Amendment, you know. Nonsense. Militia I mean, versus yeah. individual, individual <laughs> versus yeah. militia argument. Yeah. I mean, the, the way it's, the way that amendment's worded, I mean, Jesus. Yeah. It's so easy to figure out. Well, I it don't is. Know. I've also, uh, I also wonder aloud when you said that's how they intended it, even if that is how they intended it. Yeah. Fuck them. Like, I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. Well, fuck them on freedom of no, speech. No, no, no. no. I, I, I'll tell you the why I say that. Because if you say they saw it coming yeah. and they worded that anyway, um, then they were dumb. Like, almost like, I don't want to pay the price because they didn't understand how bad things were going to Well, they get. knew, no, no, they knew and, and, and commented on the fact that you can't trade freedoms for safety in this country. You just, it, it's, it's a very silly thing to do. And I wouldn't want to, I agree with you. It's, uh, so why would you then put these safety measures in place on an amendment where it says, shall not be infringed? Like, it means shall not be infringed. Not shall not be infringed except for this or that. Can I ask you this? This has always uh -huh. bothered me about it because the argument was, well, that was the, like when you, when you talk about slavery or you, anyway, we say, well, that was just the time the smile. was in. Smile. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> such a creep. <laughs> but the argument, like when you say like the same time these amendments were written and drafted or, or the Constitution, yeah. they owned slaves. Right. And the argument is, well, that was just the time. So how come that argument doesn't apply for when this was written? Well, that was just the time. Like, why is the, 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 the barbarism or the piggishness of slavery mm -hmm. allowed to be written off to the time, right. but a possible error in thinking with this is well, not allowed because, to be written off the time? Well, uh, because one of those is taking away a person's right, and the other is giving them, not even giving them the right, acknowledging what is supposedly your God-given right. Uh, the, the, the amendments, uh, your, your rights in the Constitution are not the government giving you these rights. They are just the rights you have as a human being. So when you have slavery, of course it, it, it shouldn't have been allowed because it's taking away people's rights to freedom. So that's why that could be changed. But the, the right to bear arms and defend yourself is uh, one of your, your no, but inherent I mean, rights. But just the... the, the the hypocrisy, the embarrassing hypocrisy well, of that. Yeah, like it's but embarrassing. Uh, there's embarrassing hypocrisies that we're living with today. Sure, and we don't take them seriously. I don't take. I don't take the. I don't respect the people. And I, I, mean, I respect the no, founding fathers. But you can't throw creators. out everything just because. Of course, there's some glaring hypocrisies in this country. I agree, but the people who hold on to, like <laughs> verbatim. Mm -hmm. The wording at that time, they don't say, well, that was the time. But when you mention slavery, like these were slave owners, so how seriously they write it? it it's just a selective... Mm -hmm. uh, you can't throw out the baby with the bathwater, Jimmy. I, I, you know, <laughs> oh, God. I, I don't like to uh, throw out anything. I, I I'm hate a Craig. 
I try to save everything. Oh, happy. good, good, Craig. I, I save newspapers. So happy save magazines. That you do that, Craig. I save uh, wrapping paper. Oh, Craig is the worst character. It's still a fun debate. <laughs> yeah, it, it was. I it liked was. it. I'd wanted to talk to him about uh, the gun issue for a while. Yeah, the Trayvon thing, I kind of wanted to get into that a little and how the news handled that and how they didn't acknowledge the fact that uh, Zimmerman was assaulted after the verdict came in. All they talked about was the unarmed teen that was murdered. And it's like, oh, well, that's right. He was punching this man in the face. And the news completely dropped that part of the uh, argument. Um, the editing of the uh, yeah, there's, various there's, audio, there's so things much like behavior, that. The press, the press is de deplorable. About. And of course, that's his, you know, you don't shit where you eat. Sure. So I don't think he's going to really get into that and acknowledge how poorly the press. Look, you know how I want, and I wanted to mention this, but he fucking kept going off. Um, do you know how I want mass shootings covered on the news? like they used to cover it on the news when they only had a half hour for the whole sure. newscast. And you couldn't dedicate entire hour block programs to building these people into uh, anti-heroes. Or villains, uh, actually. It right? was, it was a, a news program. They gave you the facts. They gave you, yeah. you know, that. And that was it. We I didn't have to dig into every aspect of this guy's life. Yeah, and, and, and the thing about trying to figure out why he did it. But leave that to the police. But it's profilers. also an excuse because, you know, it's it, it, if the guy just jumped up and down and went like blah, 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 and threw rocks at people, you wouldn't question why he did it. You'd go right. look at that crazy fuck. Right. Well, it's the same thing with these guys. And he when he said, "Should we not name him?" My initial instinct was to go no because it's not important because they're not looking for him because he's caught right. unless you're hunting. But but I get why the press would name a, a criminal. I understand why they would name him. Uh -huh. But the first day or whatever. But the, you know they just. They, they perpetuate it and they push it forward because for them, oh, it's, it's, hours. it's their business. And it's business. hours it, and hours. It's rated, then, It's all about ratings. We all know that. Then when the news... Whoa, 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 this is, this is uh, collapsing here. Oh, we got to take this off. Then when the what? news portion... Yeah. Oh, boy. When the news portion is done, <laughs> they go with these fucking hour-long programs. You get Greta gets on and then, you know, this one and that one. And they cover the same stories over and over. The guy's face, the killer's face is up on the screen longer than would ever have been before the 24-hour news cycles. And that motivates people. And the FBI has, has proven that it does because they, right. they, they're going That's out been proven. in a blaze of glory. They want right. to go out making a statement. They want to go out being heard. Yes. So when you print, the only person I agree with them printing the manifesto of, and this is what started it, was the Unabomber. It was because it helped them catch him. Yeah. They didn't do that afterwards to glorify him. They did that because they had these writings and they, they thought somebody yes. might recognize the writings. That helped them catch him. So that's the only so reason they that they him did that. They saw him on his one-wheeled bicycle. <laughs> the Unabomber. <laughs> That was a good one. No, it wasn't. I know it wasn't. That was terrible. <laughs> I know. It was good for me. I mean, just to hear yeah, it. Of course. <laughs> yeah, that manifesto. But I mean, that made sense because that did help them catch him. Yeah, but as far true. as getting in the mind of a killer, not interested. Yeah. He's a crazy fuck. That's it. And and let let law enforcement learn why he did it and and paw through his Wait. manifestos and stuff so that they have a better uh, idea right. for maybe next time. It doesn't need to be splattered all over the fucking news. If you want to search it out, I think it should be available to but, you. Uh, but getting in the mind of the killer is good for their business. Uh, uh, but right. that's what he doesn't want to. Exactly. Sure. He doesn't want to acknowledge that. He wants to make it seem like it's all just a news public program. service or something. No, Don't try to bullshit. Or, or no, it's great for ratings. Right. It's great for the advertising. Uh -huh. we're, all, we're all stupid enough to watch it. Uh, you know, as much yes. as I yell and scream about it, of course I'm watching exactly. it. Exactly. But what? that's good for their fucking business, and and, and absolutely has it's a, it's a separation from true news. When he said, because yeah. people might be watching it and saying, "Hey, I know that guy. I uh, want it to go." Are you uh, saying that with a straight face? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know, yeah, again, I know he's you're doing yeah. It. The press thing, I would love to have talked about more mm -hmm. than made love. <laughs> My advice show is today, by the way, if oh, anybody cares. Right, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying you guys well, leave. we got to leave. Uh, no, we better no, leave. No, 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 I don't mean it for that reason. I'm not rushing you out of here. It's your show. Holy shit. I'm only promoting it because the, the phones don't ring for the first five minutes if I don't promote it. Jimmy, I wanted my wife to fuck a black guy while I watch, but she won't do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, my God. Exactly. I love those calls. Exactly. You make them. <laughs> <laughs> 
I like Jimmy's advice show. It's fun. To By listen. the way, nobody touched my fucking tennis balls. I used them oh. to rub my back on. All What'd right. you call? Oh. You, well, you, you initialed them, so that mm. should keep the people away. No one touched my balls. He used it to rub his face on. <laughs> See, because so, I'd have I my balls on your face. Yes, I would enjoy it. That'd I guess fun. that's the implication. <laughs> yeah. I can't, I can't read. <laughs> I, mean, I can't read. <laughs> like, Sorry. Snuffleupagus. I can't, oh, I can't read E-Rock. What's the deal? He's, he's happy, right? No, he's legit mm -hmm. mad. No, E-Rock, comment. He's happy. legit mad? Yeah, he was mad outside during the uh, oh, man. Piers Morgan interview. Oh, boy. He's annoyed. He's texting his wife. Oh, jeez. Do you know what this motherfucker yeah. did? This yeah, Jew yeah, yeah. motherfucker! I, be <laughs> I bet he wrote, do you know what this motherfucker did? Eric! No, did I you? did not do that. No? But you're right. You're happy? Son of a bitch? You probably wrote, you were right, honey. <laughs> <laughs> he said <laughs> He said that he thought you would skim a little off. He didn't think you would skim this much Whoa. off. Whoa. So he's a little more upset with the amount than the he's uh, much delivery. More, he's very upset about the amount how much do you not. think well, you should have gained more weight <laughs> <laughs> would you have gone would you have been good with seven grand yeah wow so. oh, wow Get the fuck he out thinks here. seven he said number one that's not what he said he would do and number two what the fuck am i supposed to do with all these quarters uh, i don't know go to a Spend bank Ooh. video arcade oh fucking so wait kenny and me are just telling me to go to a coin store you could get a uh a kill screen yep that many fucking quarters hell yeah you just buy the machine. Well, you could do that yes. too. Okay. Why is he smiling so much if he's not happy? Because he gets he likes all, the like, attention. He, he does like the attention. And now he's gonna be the talker around the hallways today after we scuttle butt. But he's also in a weird spot because up until this moment, he was in this spot where he had like an authority, mm. at least on a moral ground, over everybody because he had been wronged. Right. right, right, and he kind of had everybody over a barrel, yeah. and now it's over. It's kind of unraveling, and he realizes he's he's not going to go to the company now and be like, "Well, I need a promotion," or he's not going to go to you and be like, "Well, I need more money." He right. realizes five thousand dollars in quarters is what's that's the end of it. That's the end it's of it. The end of the you're in a cul-de-sac, <laughs> and like he he wanted it's more. It's over, than Johnny. Him. I better get out of it. Or something. Fuck yeah, or a scrotum. Go ahead, e Rock. <laughs> I thought it was very thoughtful. Uh, Thoughtful. After crunching the numbers. Yeah, to crunch a little bit. Anyone could just write a check. That's silly. Yeah, you gave... Yeah. Uh, and you knew his weight. I did. Oh, well, that was incorrect, too. But right, you're you saying he owes you a little more? So you owe me some oh, yeah. money, then. Uh, I'm torn no, on how to answer that. <laughs> yeah, right. How much was I off uh -huh. by? Huh? A box? Give me a box, uh, man. That doesn't matter how much you were give off. Give me a box. I'll give it to Travis. You, no. weren't, you weren't off by 25 pounds, I don't think. Yo, Travis, if he gives me a box back, it's yours. How come Travis gets the box? Mm -hmm. Because he's a nice yeah. guy. I'm really nice. No, you're the devil. Oh, that is true. So, Iraq, what, what would it take to make you happy? I want Iraq to be happy. It don't I matter where it takes no, no, I'm just It's over. I just want to know. I got a clear conscience. What would it take? Frederick you, Hughes is looking down on me today, and I get to sleep better <laughs> at night. Jim is counting his bucks right now. No, he's just showing me what he I has. No, dude, I'm actually, I have 80 bucks. What, 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 <laughs> for me. I'm not exactly showing this off. I had more last night, but, you know, cum had to leave. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get rid of cumsies. Yeah, this is, uh, I got to say, uh, Colin Flaherty. Uh -huh. uh, he wrote right. White Girl Bleed a Lot. Okay. A return of Racial Violence. To America, about black uh, black yeah, it's about uh, black on uh, white crime and uh, black uh, rise of black are, violence. In are this they country. selling that in bookstores? Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, good. they are, and online, of course, okay. Amazon and whatnot. Uh, I like this. They have these scans on on various pages that you scan with your phone, mm. and videos pop up. That's genius. So yeah, it's like all these pages. Oh, that's a that's the way to that's the future. Scans. So now you could read about it, right? And then you scan this. Uh, Wow. Was that the first book doing that? Code, and you could see, like, assault a pregnant woman. Uh, we got uh, Marine attacked. So he could write about it, and then he could watch the various videos. I did this in my Brilliant. book, actually. No, you didn't. You I did. did. For did certain you? members of the, the TS community. <laughs> <laughs> to go to her slash question marks website. <laughs> um... That's great. Iraq, e the money picture is doing very well on my Instagram. Oh, I'm good. For, I'm, and, I'm happy for you. And very, it's doing very oh, well. Nice. OP Radio on Instagram. The, the, it's getting some fucking views. Iraq's e okay now. He's Kenny and me reminded Iraq e too that the real pleasure of the whole thing is that you skimmed a little off the top. You gave your friend Iraq e what you I thought had, he deserved. I had to take a little taste. Frank. Take a little taste. After crunching the numbers, I had to take a little taste. But what's nice is, <laughs> why you have to take a taste? 
What's I nice is because you know it, this Taste. was this was time taken out of my day. Absolutely. Tribute, like in the old country. And you know how much we make about an hour, so I had yeah. to take a little taste. You gotta take a taste. <laughs> I took about fifteen minutes. And you, <sighs> I took fifteen minutes of time. Can now put the video of you giving him the quarters on YouTube. It's a strong move. Make a little of that money back. You know what? If people fucking sit through a few fucking commercials, I, I could break even on this with that video. That's what I'm thinking. Fucking great. So everybody's a winner here. Congratulations to E-Rock on the quarter. E-Rock's a winner. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. For, for once in his life, he's a winner. Do you feel like a winner, E-Rock? He's not smart no, enough to understand what happened today, he but he will he? eventually. <laughs> I, think, I think he will eventually. Opie uh, was probably just responsible for what like a game show winner would get. You that's, get the, that's exactly what it is. I want a game show prize. You get the well, flight, and you get the hotel, and they're not going to pay for everything. Yeah. So, you know. Uh, you got a little more than the flight and the I hotel. Think you're right. You know yeah. that, Ant. No. So he should thank you. Ooh, yes. He said no. I think I paid for his Simpsons day as well. Oh, God. Which was Ooh. so annoying to hear about, but I had to sit here oh. and just bite my lip. It didn't look like many people were at the Simpsons thing when you were there. <laughs> yeah. There was not many people at more any people of the More people were at the OJ really? Simpson team. <laughs> 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 me and Jimmy talked about that on the way. Me and Jimmy talked about that on the way home. How awful that sounded. I just couldn't We're do just it. not in that world. Yeah, no, no, not in that. I world. I couldn't imagine sitting Happiness. there and having a fucking <laughs> no. A, see that? having a beer at Moe's. Yeah, no. Having a flaming Mo. God, no, why? No? Yeah, flaming Mo. I think. It'd be, I think it'd be getting cool. on the phone and listening to the uh, pranks and stuff. Yeah. No. <laughs> You're dead inside. <laughs> You're dead inside. You got to update your references. I'm a happy man these days. Everyone knows it. They see it. Hmm? He's smiling to the record. The opener's <laughs> smiling. It's a, it's a psychotic smile, but it yeah. is a smile. My Mike. <laughs> my Mike. Hey, my Mike. So do you have anything to say to the opener before we go in reference to the five thousand dollars? Opie and Anthony have left the building. Left the building. But Jim Norton is not going anywhere. If you have problems and a phone, it's your lucky day. The Jim Norton Show is next. All right, well, that sucked. To hear the Opie and Anthony Show five days a week, live on satellite radio, online on your phone or tablet, or even on demand, go to SiriusXM.com. Also, interact with the Opie and Anthony Show on Twitter, at Opie Radio, at Anthony Cumia, and at Jim Norton.